Rolling like a ball is one of the most fun exercises in entire Pilates uh, repertoire. It literally, it calls the child within you to come out and play. Because the full movement is that when you go into the movement, the full movement looks so much fun. You're kind of rolling up and down, and this is something we all used to do as children. So it gives a great joy. However, before you get into that movement, there are a few things we need to do before to warm up the body and to increase that awareness so you don't go literally all over the place while doing the exercise. Uh, depending on your flexibility, uh, you are going to bend your knees to the point you are comfortable. So ideally, it should go as close to the glutes as you can. Having said that, you're not using your arms to bring the legs to the bottom. Uh, the second thing is before you go into any rolling exercise, this is a general rule, rule, always make sure, check the space behind you to see that if there are any obstacles, because trust me, you don't want to, to start rolling while there is something on the right behind you. Uh, once we get in this position, we are getting off the sitting bones and we are settling in the area right between the sitting bone and the small of the and the lower part of the back once we are in that position we are raising our legs off the ground now uh, whatever your flexibility level is whatever uh, you are comfortable with because you are the judge of your own fitness level in the beginning it's going to be much easier for you to place your hands right behind the legs you see, never hold anything on the joint. So you're holding it right above the joint, the knee joint. And it's much easier to balance in this position. As you progress, that place is going to become the ankles or your soles. And you're going to become more compact ball because we want a very, very compact. Literally, imagine that your body becomes a ball. Never push the legs into the body. Now that we have reached this position, we want to balance. Balancing here doesn't mean opening out. It means that you're keeping this compact position and you're rolling gently back and forth. Pretty much, I want you to do the pelvic tilts. Those same pelvic tilts we were doing as a part of preparation. Those are the same pelvic tilts we are doing while maintaining and you're going to feel your core muscles really getting involved in case you lose your balance which at some point you are going to you're just going to gently roll onto the mat and come up do not i mean i, I repeat this is very important if you start rolling down never panic because you're already on the ground you, you can't injure yourself you can't do anything so if you just gently let go and go on the mat um, what I don't want you to do is when you're going down, you lose your balance and you try to twist and stop that falling because this is when injuries can happen. So I want to keep you safe, you at home, hold this position, roll it. Whenever you're ready, chin to the chest, inhale and gently roll up and down. You are stopping when rolling back before you reach the neck. So you should not roll onto the neck and you stop before touching the floor. That's going to be a challenge. That's why it's very important to establish that sort of uh, control over your body before you go into the rolling movement. Also, if you have a very sensitive back, it's very good to put a maybe two or three mats or maybe you even use a towel at home because it can be a little bit uncomfortable um, once you, until you get used to. And repetition-wise, we are doing approximately five to 10 uh, repetitions of the rolling, including the preparation period.